When you enter the polls this year in Ohio, you won't just be voting for your representatives. You're going to be voting on how you vote. This year, Ohioans consider a ballot measure that would change the way voting districts are drawn. Brady Williams, explain it for us. Yeah, so district maps help determine who votes for what based on where they actually live. Ideally, they get redrawn every 10 years. That coincides with the census. Here in Ohio, they're being redrawn somewhat constantly because the state constitution says they need to have bipartisan support. It's been a long time since that has happened. We'll start with the fact that Ohio has been one of the most profoundly gerrymandered states in the nation for the last couple of election cycles. University of Cincinnati political science professor David Niven says that means Ohio has numerous districts that have been drawn to favor one political party over another. He says that happens often when maps are drawn by politicians. People drawing the map are literally running in the districts they draw. You know, the people drawing the map you know, are depending on the outcome of those elections for their job. And the difference here in a citizen commission is these are regular people trying to draw a reasonable map. Some folks want to change that. In November, a ballot measure will be put before Ohioans to decide whether or not they want those districts to instead be drawn by an independent commission of citizens. Nobody who has a direct stake in the outcome. The amendment calls for a committee of 15 people. Five of them come from the party of the last elected governor, five from the party of the candidate with the second most votes, and five of whom would be unaffiliated as determined by a bipartisan screening panel. They'd use census data to draw lines, and the whole process would need to be open and transparent. Niven says the approach has been used in places like Colorado, California, or Michigan. Is If you win the most votes, you win the most seats. We can see this, you know, there's a much stronger relationship between how people vote and the election outcomes. They tend to have more competitive districts. They tend to, you know, reflect, you know, kind of the, the mood of the citizen. The ballot initiative does have opponents, one notable one in Governor Mike DeWine. Last week, he spoke out on the initiative, saying it would cause, quote, gerrymandering in the extreme. He called instead for a plan that mirrors Iowa's redistricting process. Critics have pointed out that Iowa's process still falls on elected officials to approve of the maps, which is what this initiative is trying to avoid. Niven says wherever you land on the initiative, you should read up on it and vote accordingly. Every single issue is touched by the way we draw lines. You know, the bottom line, whatever your chief concern is, that issue is touched by how we draw lines and how well we represent people's vote. So the amendment is somewhat long, but reading that really is gonna be your best bet if you wanna understand the full scope of it before you vote on it. We'll provide a link to it on our website, fox19.com.